brand new addition at the Mead State Fish Hatchery is now operational. That's good news for Kansas bass anglers. Using a revolutionary approach, this facility should help fisheries biologists get a head start on natural largemouth production in Kansas lakes. This means better growth and survival and better future fishing. The problem is this. Largemouths normally don't spawn in Kansas reservoirs until May. Then it's late summer before bass fry get big enough to feed on minnows. Gizzard shad, the main forage fish in Kansas lakes, outgrow the bass and are therefore lost as a food resource. Because of this, many young bass don't survive their first winter. The Mead Fish House hopes to change this. Pure northern strain brood bass will be exposed to carefully regulated light conditions, tricking them into spawning several months early. Natural spawning depends on the right length of daylight and water temperature. Inside the fish house, bass are hurried through an artificially controlled environment in stages until they believe it is mid-June when the calendar still says March. This is done through a series of conditioning pods, which are light-proof tents where potential spawners are readied. Water quality and temperature are constantly monitored, and timers control daylight until the bass are used to their genetically programmed spawning conditions. 14 hours of daylight and 8 hours of darkness each day. Later this month, prepared male and female bass will mingle and lay eggs on artificial spawning mats. The resulting fry will be collected and hopefully well over a million young largemouths will be stocked into Hillsdale and Cedar Bluffs reservoirs, the project's first year target lakes. These jump-started fry should be able to eat summer shad and grow faster than normal. Several states, including Florida and Texas, have proven this works with Florida strain largemouth bass, so the Kansas project is expected to be successful. Jason Viner, Mead State Fish Hatchery Manager, has carefully researched and overseen the startup project. Today's March the 2nd, and uh, by the end of this month, the first batch of fry should be leaving. They all go to uh, Hillsdale Reservoir, and these fish will have about a two-month head start. If things go as planned, Kansas lakes should see more and bigger bass and a better chance of catching these hard-fighting fish. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.